Welcome to another session on relative security. And in this session, we are going to talk about cyber threat intelligence. We'll just dive in straight into the what is cyber threat intelligence. And in this video, we're going to talk about the basics. For example, the basics terminologies that are being confused and they are mostly used when we are talking about cyber threat intelligence. So just to lay out the agenda, what, what are the different terminologies that we are going to use? Uh, we are going to describe are, first of all, we are going to talk about data. Then we are going to talk about information, intelligence, and what is a threat. And then how these basic terminologies come up and how do we define the threat intelligence? So we'll start with the first terminology, what is data? So the first thing is any individual observation, truth about point in time event or a factual measurement, which can be used as a starting point for reasoning and calculation. So it's talking about anything, any observation that you can observe in your environment, any factual measurement that you can take, that is a data. It doesn't make much sense when you're collecting the data that what is it about, but it is just a piece where from where you can start to start reasoning, start correlating. So it's just a name given to the basic fact and the, and the entities, that is numbers, for example, an example for the data would be five. Now, nobody knows it is an individual price. Is it marks obtained or it is a number of items sold? It is just an, uh, it's, it's just a number five. Similarly, if you were going to talk about 8.8.8, .8 .8, it's an IP address. What is this IP address? Why do we need to know about this? Nobody knows it. It's just a data. It's just an individual observation. It's just a factual measurement. Next, before we move forward, we need to know about the this terminology, the context. When you're observing, for example, when we talked about the data, we talked about the individual observation and the truth about the point in time event, what is happening in that moment. So when you want to realize more about what is happening in that moment, you need to know about the circumstances in which an event occurred. So those circumstances in which that event is occurring and that data is being collected or being created, that background information is called the context. So it could be a background environment framework or settings of events or occurrences that we call the context. So it could be any circumstances that can help us understand the narrative or detail about the data. For example, the five in the last example was just a data. We didn't know it was the number obtained. It was the price of something. But when you're talking about the context, you will see, is it a measured liquid? Is it a measured weight or a distance? So when you have this context, for example, if it's a measured weight, I'm definitely going to say, oh, I see now. Uh, it cannot be a five liter. It cannot be five kilometer. It must be five kilograms. So that's where the information comes. Now we have had the data and we had the information, sorry, we had the data and we had the context around it. So we did the processing on it, that if it's of number five and the context says it's a liquid, that means it must be in the liters or in the milliliters. That process data, which makes sense to the reader and is simple to understand, that is information. It has to be organized or a structured data processed in a way that it provides a re relevance to the specific purpose or the context. We have already talked about the specific purpose or the context. So now our example that started with five as a data has now reached to a level 
of information where it is 5 milliliter, 5 kg, or if it was an IP address, it could be a server IP address, it could be an endpoint IP address, it could be any other network device, but now you have the context around it. Now, the last piece before we move into the threat and the threat intelligence is what is intelligence then? So the information that you have now, it can be correlated with other information and it can be processed even further. To process this information in such a way that the users have enough context and actionable advice for them to take an informed decision. For example, five liter of water or five liter of any other liquid, that is one information. Then if you have other information related to the price of that, that the five liter of some liquid you are getting at the value for the price of let's say $10, the same information about another vendor, you get that you can get the same liquid, same amount of liquid at a cheaper rate. That is now information turning into intelligence where you are processing it in such a way that it is this processing is providing the user enough context and actionable advice that which one is cheaper and which one is expensive that the user can make an informed decision. Let's talk about IP address. Just simply an IP address, a.a.a.a, .a .a .a, or any other IP address. That was just simply an IP address, and that was a data. That was just an observation or a factual mayor. The information about it was that this IP could be malicious. It could be associated with a command and control. Now, when, do, when we do the processing on, and correlation on this information, that becomes intelligence. And based on that correlation, we can say that our analysis tells that it is not targeting our systems. Even if it is malicious IP, it is not associated with our network. It has not been found in our environment. That is an intelligence. Now, based on this intelligence, one can take a decision whether to block that IP in the firewall or not. So what's the threat now? So we'll take an example. We'll take, uh, sorry, a definition from the NIST website where the threat is any circumstance or event with the potential to adversely impact organizational operations, including missions, functions, image, or reputation, organization, organizational assets, individuals, other organizations, or the nation through an information system via unauthorized access, destruction, disclosure, modification of information or denial of service. Now that is a threat. Now it could be anything, as it says, any circumstance or any event that has the potential. The main thing is that whatever is happening, it has the potential to affect the operations, assets, individuals, anything associated with that organization. If that can be adversely impacted, through any information system. Now, it could be anything. It could be an unauthorized access. It could be destruction disclosure. It could be uh, denial of service. Anything that impacts an organization in an adverse way is a threat. Now, why do we discuss threat? Because we are talking about cyber threat intelligence. We have talked about intelligence already, that in intelligence is the outcome of the correlation or the processing of information in such a way that it provides the end user 
<clears throat> with an actionable advice. So what is threat intelligence? Threat intelligence is an evidence-based knowledge including context, mechanism, indicators, implications, and actionable advice about an existing or emerging menace or hazard to assets that can be used to inform decisions regarding the subject's response to that menace or hazard. Now, we have talked about data, information, context, and everything. In this, we are summing up each and everything that if you want to talk about threat intelligence, it has to have the context, the data, the information, and, and what are the implications or the effects of that information on an organization or on, on an individual. And based on that correlation, do we have an actionable advice about that threat? to our assets, to our organization. And based, and if we have that actionable, actionable advice, can we take some decision on top of that? Now that is a threat intelligence. That you have a threat, definitely, that can adversely impact your organization. But at the same time, you have enough information in the form of intelligence that you can take very precise action to counter that intelligence and uh, sorry to counter that threat now that is a threat intelligence to so having enough context having enough information having enough indicators that you can take an informed decision thank you so much